What is going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with the wraparound. We're going to be breaking down the NHL action going down on Sunday, February 18th, 2024. Just a reminder, if you like this content, make sure you smash that thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. We appreciate all the love and support we've gotten here at Pick Dogs over the years, um, especially with me here with the wraparound. I do this for you guys and, uh, you know, love all love all you. Love the Pick Dogs family and uh, appreciate all of your kind words and uh, love and support all those thumbs up over the years. If you're looking for my best bets, the games that I absolutely love, make sure you head to pickdogs.com, click the premium picks tab at the top of the page. Didn't have the best day on the premium side yesterday, you know, had a had a few balls that didn't bounce our way on college hoops. Hockey didn't go our way, but you know what? It's fine. Pick ourselves up. We dust ourselves off. It's a new day. It's a brand new uh, Sunday, the last day of the week to finish strong and uh, head into the new week with a nice loaded up bankroll. Got some college hoops plays on the board I love and have some hockey on there as well. Um, so definitely make sure that you're checking those out and check out a long-term pass. You know, you can you can grab a daily pass for sure, profit today and move forward into a new week. But the best value is going to be a long-term pass. We've got loaded cards all week. Um, so definitely jump on board with one of those. And you can take that. You can go with me or you can pair me up with any of your other favorite handicappers at our website um, as part of our multi-cap promotion. And remember to use that promo code PICK at checkout for 15% off your purchase. Now, you know, just quickly want to acknowledge yesterday we didn't have a great day. I, I didn't have a great day. You know, it was, it was a rough day. The puck, you know, didn't bounce our way. We had a lot of home teams, and it was one of those days where the road teams just dominated. And it was, yeah, it was a rough one. But uh, you know what? Those days are going to happen. You know, I appreciate all of you that stuck with me that have said, you know what, that we're, we're just going to dust ourselves off and come back strong here. And you know what? For me, I'm that just means I'm ready. To, I'm hungry to come back at the books. I'm ticked off. Yesterday wasn't good, but last time we had a three-game card earlier this week, we swept the board, told everybody to parlay it on the morning show, and a lot of people hit those three-game parlays. So what's to say we can't do it again? But you know what? There's only one way to find out. You ready? I'm ready. Let's get into it. Our first game is the stadium series on Sunday afternoon from MetLife Stadium as the New York Islanders take on the New York Rangers. And, uh, you know, we had a stadium series matchup yesterday. did fall short with it, but... You know, I still stand by the sentiment that the elements are going to have to be, you know, at play here. You know, I know it's going to be cold, and uh, sometimes it still messes up the ice surface, but I'm not going to go with the total here. I'm going to just look at and trust my instincts on this one. The Rangers are the better team, playing better hockey right now, coming out of the break. They've yet to lose um, since the All-Star break. The Islanders came out with a little bit of fire under their butt. They beat the Leafs, and they beat the, uh, the Tampa Bay Lightning, but since then, losses to Calgary and Seattle, and... You know, head to head between these two teams, it has been fairly split. But you know, the Islanders have won a lot of the the recent meetings. Even though the last time these two teams met was back in uh, the beginning of last year, you know, in 2022. So it's been a while since these two two rivals squared off. But I still got to go with the Rangers here. You know, they're, like I said, they're playing the better hockey. And of all the teams in the NHL, they're the only team with four, at least four outdoor games played. And still a perfect record, 4-0. They haven't seen an outdoor game since 2018, but still, you know, that's still something to be said for this uh, this Rangers team playing well outdoors. Um, the rain, uh, excuse me, the Islanders have some guys with some outdoor experience, but I just think the Rangers are the better team right now, playing the better hockey. Give me the New York Rangers here on the money line at minus 150. Now we head to the Ball Arena, where the Colorado Avalanche take on the Arizona Coyotes and. Something's got to give in this matchup. As you know, Colorado struggling out of the All-Star break. They've lost five of six. Arizona currently riding an eight-game losing streak. But the difference for me here is a couple of things. First off, Arizona's offense, non-existent right now. They've scored two goals or less in five of those eight losses, three goals or less in seven of the eight. And Colorado, you know, they've taken some losses themselves. They've had some offensive issues, and the goaltending hasn't been great. But all those games for the Colorado Avalanche were on the road where they still are. If you combine the overtime and regula uh, regulation losses, a sub-500 team at 13-17. and 17. At home this season, 20-5, and 5, an 80% win percentage. They've been great on the puck line at home. Arizona's been solid on the puck line on the road, but still 8-14-4. Away from the Mullet Arena, this is an Arizona team that still plays their best hockey at home. And even a couple of recent home games couldn't help this team from a couple of puck line losses. So until the Arizona Coyotes show me some signs of life, I still can't get behind them because at least we know the Avalanche play well at home. And if the Avalanche struggle here, I don't know what to say about Colorado at that point. I'm going to take out the uh, Colorado Avalanche here on the puck line. And 
And our final game on Sunday's card takes us to the PPG Paints Arena where the Pittsburgh Penguins take on the Los Angeles Kings. And, um, you know, the Los Angeles Kings, still not a team I'm ready to fully in institute back into my good graces, but they are back playing some decent hockey. Once again, back-to-back -back wins and wins in three of four since the All-Star break. The Pittsburgh Penguins losses in three of their last four as well. They got by the Chicago Blackhawks last time out, but they're still fairly inconsistent, the Pittsburgh Penguins are. They do play their better hockey at home, where they are 13-9-3. and um, But the Los Angeles Kings are still 17-7-4 on the road. Like I said, they looked really good in beating up on Boston and, uh, and the New Jersey Devils. And uh, we're getting a plus money price with them, considering they're playing the better hockey right now. And I think that's sort of where I want to be in this matchup. I said it's just it's not ideal for me to get behind the Pittsburgh Penguins right now. Um, it's 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 a it's a tough game, but I st I still think the value here is with the Los Angeles Kings on the road. So give me the Kings at even money to round things out. That's it. That's all the NHL action for Sunday, February eighteenth, twenty twenty four. Again, if you like this content, smash that thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and if you're looking for no, to get the newest and freshest content as soon as it drops here at Pick Dogs, hit that notification bell in the description of this video below. Also. If you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. And remember to let me know your NHL picks in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.